In South Africa, gender is still a profound issue. Yet there are issues that are affecting women only. Over the years, South African media, we should say, has underrepresented women and has, in some instances, sidelined issues affecting women in South Africa. If you look at the 1999 elections, you, we had 10% of the sources, sources being people accessed during the period of the elections, people that are got, uh, given a voice through the media to give out their opinions, being women and 90% being men. 10 years later, in 2009, we had sources that were women going up to 23%. And if you look in our 2011 elections, there has been even more change where we've got 33%. However, this change is not significant because 51% of our population is women. And if you look at the issues that are affecting women, if you look at 400, 400 women out of 100,000 women die during childbirth, that's a critical issue and women's voices need to be accessed on those issues. 48% of female-headed households, households live under the poverty line. And that, that to me warrants enough attention towards women. One in every four women are raped every second in South Africa. We have the highest rape cases in the world. The media must now go out and find stories, find ways to inform people because if you get information only around the 16 days, what other way do you fight this during the year? And the, the challenges that you are having about women and children representation are not South African challenges, they're worldwide. If we compare statistics, G, GMMP statistics, those are, it's Gender Media Monitoring Project, which is, which is done globally, you will see that women are underrepresented underrepresented everywhere in the world. So Media Monitoring Africa would really like to challenge the media and say, hey, women actually have stories to tell. And the way that you tell them should as well embrace the women of South Africa, the challenges they face, and the successes we encourage the media to, to look at these issues to be in-depth.